Hi, I'm Mark Harvey and I move trees. I love trees, I love nature. As far as this tree is going, um, I've cried over it. You know, I get really emotionally involved because, you know, you've got a lot involved in trying to keep this thing alive and make sure that it, it stays perfect. This is a relatively young to sort of medium aged uh, ficus, a fig. And this particular one's Ficus hillii, or Microcarpa hillii, which is a native to Australia. It was planted around the 1930s, a little over 80 years of age. As Sydney ciders and as Australians, we have a strong affinity towards our fig trees. Figs are, are fairly amazing trees. They are not like a lot of other trees. They've got uh, special qualities to them. They're also extremely tolerant of root damage. We've taken off probably 90% or more of the roots. The process in simple terms is We've done some preparation around the tree, cutting some roots, getting some roots stimulated, uh, taking care of it, intensive care. Next stage is we're putting under some structural supports, and then we're going to lift it up essentially on some really big balloons, some big bladders, then they're inflated. Once they start to inflate, they have an enormous lift capacity. Each of those bags has a, a 98 tonne lift capacity with a six to one safe margin. So theoretically, you could go up to 500 uh, tons, which is a huge amount. And this tree weighs about 200 tonne as it is. And just roll it to its new home. The tree almost looks like it's floating. It's quite a slow movement and um, you'll probably not see most of what's going on. It'll just be a sense of the tree gliding along. And uh, I guess that's, that's pretty surreal in many ways. So, so with any procedure, there's some risks and lots of unknown because whilst I've moved lots of trees, I've never moved this tree before. So each tree presents its own unique problems, um, not so much to do with the tree, but to do with the site conditions. It's about rebuilding the root system. And what we're relying on is very small microscopic parts called root hairs on young pioneer or absorbing roots, and they're doing all the work. It'll take time for it to get out into the soil, and that's why there's that ongoing need for, for maintenance.